from JD News, live from Draper, Utah. Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. This is Good Morning, Juan Diego. Good morning, Juan Diego. It's Tuesday morning. Today's a C day, and we're coming to you from Student Services. How are you doing today, Dr. Klosmo? I'm doing well. You think we got started right after Easter break? Yeah, you know, it's always hard coming back after a holiday like that for everybody. You got to get your mind and everything in the right space, but uh, I think everything went well yesterday. How many days we have off? 11 days. 11 days. 11 days. So you kind of get out of practice with the routine of this online learning, but you'd be out of practice with just regular school too, so it doesn't really matter. You're out of practice when you take 11 days off. Totally, totally. I had uh, conversations with a lot of peer ministers and some of my mentors. They got a lot of projects got done. They got to know their families really well. They uh, got to know their pets really well. So actually, they had a pretty good time. So. Yeah, a little different kind of spring break because usually they go on travel, they get vacation, but. Right. This time around, it was pretty much in your own backyard. We didn't have very many excuses coming into Mr. Saltz yesterday about my flight was delayed getting back, so attendance was pretty good yesterday. Except for Mr. Saltz himself had a yeah. flight that was delayed. Yeah, so. yeah. He went to, where did, where did Mr. Saltz go? I don't think he went anywhere. I just think he made it up. He it's, made it it's up. fun to say. Okay, good. <laughs> Actually, I think he went to Kentucky. Oh, yeah. very nice. How about we pray? Let's do a prayer. Who's I doing think prayer? Uh, Coach Bay is going to lead us in prayer today. Aloha. For those of you that don't know, I lived in Hawaii for seven years, and I went to elementary school there. And today's prayer is a prayer that we used to say in school. Dear Lord, may we always have warmth in our hale, fish in our nets, and aloha in our hearts. Amen. It was very nice. Thank you, Coach Bay. It's always I always I always appreciate it and enjoy when you lead us in prayer. He does a good job. Doesn't he does a good job. Yeah. yeah. So it was very nice. I, uh, Sunday night, uh, your email and your video uh, to, the, to our parents, um, a lot of information contained in that. Well, we're trying. I, I think it, I said this before, I think it's important that we say it over and over and over that, you know, this is really a raw deal for our senior class and for our senior parents. And we're doing the very best we can to try to make an end of the year experience happen. And we're gonna do everything we possibly can do that the government will allow us to do to bring a sense of normalcy to our graduation. But along with that, I did send, you know, students I, and uh, parents, I hope you click on that, but there is a survey that was sent out with that email last night. We really do want your input about what you think end of the year rites and rituals ought to be. And once we get a consensus from our parents and students, we will try to develop a plan that will meet those uh, desires with whatever we can do in accordance with what the government allows. So would you say that it's an accurate statement, Dr. Colosimo, that if it's at all possible for us to do a real live graduation, if the government lets us, is that what our goal is? That's our goal. So we would love to be able to have a graduation where we are all physically present, moms and dads and relatives and students. And if that is in any way possible, that's what we would do. And I saw over the weekend how Air Force Academy did their graduation. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, and you know, we could certainly do that much, you know, and we would like to do more, of course, because we would want parents to be in the stadium if we did something like that. And I'm not saying that's what we'll do, but priority one is to try to have a graduation that is as close to normal of what we've done in the past as is possible, given the rules of the government. And then from, from that, we'll have to work our way down. But if, if, if they'll, you know, students do that, make sure you complete the survey because we want to hear from you. Parents do the same thing. And then we will try by the end of this week to have a basic plan put out so that you at least understand the large parameters of what we're trying to do with graduation. And it's a bigger, it's, it's bigger than just us. It involves the diocese. I'm just curious, um, I tried to reach you on Sunday you were kind of missing in action Sunday afternoon. Where were you? I was not. Uh, you were with me. The two of us were like partners in crime. It reminded me of like when we were in charge of our senior class 40 years ago. But yeah, so we got together, you and I, and it, it, Mr. Tack and Miss Marston got together. We were at the cathedral, and we were filming the bishop. And uh, you he's, made quite he's a few. Such, he's such a great guy. He's so fun to work with. He really is. And there, you made a number of friends when you were down there, too. I have a I new friend, Clarita, but that's a whole other story. We can oh. talk more about that later. Yeah. 
But students look for that, parents look for that. We film the bishop, the bishop has a personal message to uh, all of the senior students and a personal message to all of uh, the senior parents and they'll have another message for the remainder of the student body. You know, I should mention that the survey that we sent out is really just for senior parents and senior students. It isn't, we're not surveying at this time, 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. We might do that later, but what we need now is just the survey for graduation and end of the year rites and rituals. Exactly. So the bishop wanted to, he wanted to say something to the, to the seniors in the diocese. Is that why he did the video? Yeah, that's the basic gist of the video. And we hope to have that video out of the bishop's message. There's two videos, one for parents and then one for uh, senior, senior parents and one for senior students. And we hope to have that video out uh, within a day or so. I think it's uh, a secret. Uh, the bishop loves barbecue. Bishop loves barbecue. You bought us lunch. We had a, all that food. It was great. Where'd we go? We got Sugar House Barbecue. Yeah, it was fun. What's the best barbecue place in town? Oh my God, don't even get me started on that. I like burnt ends at Sugar House Barbecue on Tuesdays. What about R&R? &R? You ever been to r, &R? I like r, r too. I think most of our students would say r and r It's right over here. Six South and just off the freeway. Yeah. I like r and r yeah. Today, folks, we have a, uh, a really special treat as we wrap up our video. Oh, no, you forgot to tell them about TikTok, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. So before spring break, Mr. Tack, Mr. Marson on social media, we have a whole TikTok um, competition. Uh, tomorrow, I believe there's going to be a, a TikTok montage. Let's look up that word. Um, and we're going to announce the winners to the TikTok competition, which will be a lot of fun. So, Well, tell us about Madison Hannah. She's going to end this uh, segment. It, it's really beautiful. At the end of our video today, uh, Madison Hannah has a beautiful uh, a solo. Uh, she's a flautist. Um, and it's part of her Academy of Fine Arts um, requirements, but it's actually just really beautiful to listen to. So we're going to leave you with that to have kind of a quiet way to, uh, to enter your day tomorrow, uh, JD. So.
So, so how do we end all these videos? What are the three things we say? You're going to say it today. What's the? <laughs> I'm going to say it. So take care of yourself. That's the first thing. Take care of one another. That's the second thing. And then the third thing, take care of Juan Diego. Make it a good day, Diego.